along and there is a stud black bear feeding in the grass. And you can see Glenn is just panicking. Oh, did you mention that we were on the way to a spotted bear? We're on the way. Flat tire, we lose the clip to the rifle. Oh, is there anything else that could possibly happen? The choice is about three things. Real hunting, going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you own. Real adventure, from the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> The choice is back. Can you believe it? That's right. We're back here, and actually, we're here at our new Zook cabin. We're getting it ready for hunting season. We can't I wait. I can't wait. I'm telling you, and we, did, we can't wait to bring you this, this season of The Choice. Yeah. And we're packed with all types of different hunts. It's not just deer. It's not just, it, it's, it's everything. It's a little bit of everything, and of course, we're still going to do Lucky Logo, which oh, yeah. is Rocky this Get week. Get rockified with Rocky. That's right. <laughs> so this, later on, we'll tell you what to do once you see that logo. But we're not going to slow down any. We need to go right into it. We have British Columbia coming up with yeah, Trophy wait, wait, West wait. Outfitters. And something's, again, wrong with this. And Dr. Because... Chris and I head up there because Ralph decided to hurt his leg again. I needed to find a replacement hunter to go with me and so Dr. Chris and myself and Joe we headed up to Trophy West Outfitters to do some bear hunting. Ralph wasn't too excited. I got all your stuff, don't worry. Thank you. At least you're good for something. You can't go on a hunt, you might as well load up the truck for me. But we need to take the gun case back out. That had something to it. And one of the best things about this is that I'm actually getting to work with Dr. Chris. The guy is phenomenal. We are no sooner than in front of him, and he is bam, bam, bam already on Vicky. So we've traveled all day, and Joe and I are starving. Vicky won't let us eat. She's like, a, she's driven. Vicky finally let me stop and have some food. I'm a happy man. I want food, I want food. Too bad, suck it up. I've hunted up there before with Trophy West, and this year they had a brand new lodge. Big kitchen, separate quarters for all the hunters. I mean, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful place, and honestly, I felt quite spoiled. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, I've never been to a hunting lodge that's like five star. Did you see the bathroom? Did you see the bathroom? Oh, wow. <laughs> Y'all have to tell me how the hunting goes. <laughs> We are ready to rumble. <laughs> we've got our Hoyts. We've got the new DC Dimension 308. Did you bring binoculars? You don't have binoculars either? Yeah, was I supposed to? Well, if you want to actually glass, yeah. I got a binoculars. Yeah. Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, what are, you, what are you taking your coffee with you? Yes, I am. Second cup. It's going to, oh. A kidder guy. A oh, kidder guy. Uh, we know how to handle them, huh? Yeah. When we're hunting up on Vancouver Island, it's all spot and stalk. So one of the things that we end up doing is we'll take the truck, we'll go sit up on a high elevation to be able to look through the cuts, look for bears. If you think for sure it's a bear, all then all of a sudden you get all your stuff, you get back into the truck and you get over to that hillside and you try to figure out wind, direction, the whole nine yards and how you can creep up on that bear. First time we're out of the truck and Glenn's got us on this old trail that goes down to a farmstead that hasn't been inhabited for a while. It's all grown up. <clears throat> and we make the clearing and there is a stud black bear feeding in the grass. And the stalk is on.
We had no cover and there was leaves crunching under our feet and no matter what you try to do, it's making noise and he, he pinned us. Rifle, different ball game, but that bow, it was tough. And we were probably right, right at that moment, we probably at about 38 to 40. Uh, that's all I wanted was to get you under 40. Yeah. Oh. That's okay, it was fun. Oh, it was fun. Oh darn it, such a beautiful spot, would have been nice. He's the worst patient I've ever had. And you can see Glenn is just Just a little guy. There's bear spotted, but she's a sow. That's a different bear than that one. This one's bigger. That's number 17 today. Right there. So uh, we're here up near BC and we're going across this river. And to get down to it, it's almost a sheer face of dirt and roots. And you have to use a rope to get down. I can't believe that anybody who's not 100% could get down this. And I have a good friend named Ralph who did it three months after an ACL reconstruction, which proves two things. He's stubborn and he's the worst patient I've ever had. Like clear by there, we're okay. If you don't clear by there, you're not okay. Don't look for you're bouncing off that cliff and into the rapids. We pull it around and then... Basically, the only people that come in here are you? Yeah, us and bears and elk and deer. Wow. Oh. That one was flat. <laughs> Not like this at all. We're walking along and all of a sudden Glenn spots this bear. Bam, we're down on our hands and knees. He's just around the bend. That's a big bear. The wind patterns in this area, they've been busted so many times. They know it so well. They told uh, uh, Vicky, load the gun, it's time. He's moving his aces. He just saw you. Uh, uh, uh. Like usual, something happened, the bear's turn went, ran away, and that was the end of it. But you know what? It was well worth it to be able to get over to the other side of that river to be able to see that beautiful animal. If you had Rocky, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> we actually just spotted a like good bear. We're gonna walk down, there's piles of poop everywhere. He's already down below the ground. All right, can you take him, Vicky? Are you on that, Joe? I'm on him, I'm on him. Take him. Good shoot. He's down? He's oh, my down. Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! All right. Yeah, let's walk up and get him. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to pound you so no, hard in the back, no, 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 Vicky. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was exciting. Oh, okay, he's going off. Let's go. It's crapped out, it's done. Dr. Chris has no clue what's going on. 
You had you had to be there to witness this. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Go to Facebook.com slash Ralph and Vicky. Okay. All right. Can you take them, Vicky? Yeah. Good shoot. Oh, okay, he's going off. Let's go. I did. Okay, it's going off right here somewhere. Okay, I can hear him down here, Vicky. Lots of blood on that uh, tree you went by, so. He's right there. He's, he's, he's pretty much dead right there, Vicky. Where is he? Right there. It goes from, from nothing to everything. I know. Good job. This is the first time I took the mic, the new dimension up, the TC dimension up. Um, 308, rolled him, he was done, except for that he did crawl down a little bit. Right here, Trophy West Outfitters up on Vancouver Island. I can't wait to let Ralph and RJ know that I got a bear, um, but it's past their bedtime already at home in Illinois, so I guess they'll have to wait till they wake up in the morning. I shot my bear today, and guess what? It's seafood night for dinner. Look at this, okay. We have crab, prawns, prawns, right? This is seafood lasagna. Yeah. Salmon, doing well. Cod. Cod, garlic bread, and Caesar salad. <laughs> I'm speechless. At dinner time, after a successful hunt, you get a little pin well, with thank a bear. You. Well, thank so, you very much. Congratulations, Vicki. Thank you, On Dave. another successful Hunt of Trophy West. Hey. Thank you, guys. Hey. Thank you. Hey. Thanks. Vicki, I'm, I'm going for seconds on this crab. I, I wonder what Ralph's eating for supper tonight. I don't know, but I'm going for dessert. <laughs> How's it going, honey? You should take this piece. That this big, yeah, the piece big piece. Yeah. The big piece. Eat All right. for Ralph. Ralph's that not one too. here. You should have that. One that one too. That's right. Very good. Uh, when you're filming, you're doing everything you can to make sure everything happens right and you collect it all on film. And you're dealing with mechanical equipment and mechanical equipment can fail. The problem is Murphy's Law makes it fail at the worst opportunity possible. Like when you're sitting over Dr. Chris's shoulder, Glenn's standing here, the heat of the moment, bears in the, in the, in the logging road, and he turns and starts walking away while the camera won't even turn on. And you can see Glenn is just panicking because this bear, we're trying to get Chris a bear, we've had multiple opportunities, but they were sows, and it's just, it's been a really a hard hunt for Chris to get him a bear, and now the camera won't record. It's crapped out, it's done. Dr. Chris has no clue what's going on. Glenn is waiting for me to give the green light for Dr. Chris to shoot, and he doesn't understand the camera's not working. I'm trying to get him to understand it's not working. In Murphy's Law, this camera turns on, starts recording, just as he's walking away. You had to, there's nothing I can you had, do, you had to be there to witness this. Jeez, that was incredible. God, no, I... Dude, okay, hold it, hold it. Okay, the steam's gone, the steam's gone, the steam's gone. We had, we had this, I missed something. We had this, the camera was jammed. We had the bear at a, a beautiful position. The camera jammed. Jeez. I can't, that's why I couldn't give you the go ahead. I, not, I wasn't oh. getting it from him. Oh. Hey, he looked pretty good to me. Oh, he's a good bear. He's okay, there he is. There he oh. is. There he is. I'm like, no, no, we, no. And we, Joel's like, no, no. no. We, had him, going, we had him for all that time. We had him for all that time. And the camera just, it like. I'm sure the, the doc's wondering why I didn't stop him and turn well, earlier. He's walking and walking away. I'm going, I finally turned my scope up because he's getting further yeah. away. Like, where's he going? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> where's he going? Well, are we having fun yet? Are we having fun yet? Flat tire, we lose the clip to the rifle. Again, Christopher. Listen, if you do, do not <laughs> stop arguing. If I have to, I'll stop, and I'm going to get a willow switch, and both you guys are going to get it. How many more miles? How many are we more miles? Are we having fun yet? Are we having fun yet? Isn't that 
of cool. Just soaring up there. We got a report on a bear up on the hillside, and we're heading over there, and Glenn takes this one road, and Freaking believable. 625. Prime time. And we now have a flat tire. Oh, did you mention that we were on the way to a spotted bear? We're on a way. So. It's a sow. Sow. Yeah, it's it's a sow. Of course, our luck doesn't go that way. The things are moving. That's good. Maybe they can change the tire. Hey, come change this tire, Bear. Did you um, lift the seat up? I think my bullets were sitting right there. Did you? You, li you left your bullets laying around? In, a, in the cartridge. Are you kidding me? Seriously? No, Have we sitting... got another clip? Nope. There isn't another clip. Flat tire, we lose the clip to the rifle. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Doing? This is incredible. Incredible. Is, is, there anything, is there anything else that can possibly happen today to us? Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't believe it. That's incredible. Incredible. Well, anyways, let's gather up the rest of the stuff. You got one bullet you can put in the gun to fire? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Oh. It's amazing. It's amazing. No, it's by your heel. Hey, hey, it's by your heel. It's by your heel. It's right behind you. I wonder okay. if you had it in your pants. You might have, you might have had it in your pants. Oh, Chris. <laughs> Father died. <laughs> Did he put it over there? That's not even freaking funny. I mean, you were really yelling at me. It's perfect. Don't you have any pockets? Don't you have any pockets? Unfortunately, Chris didn't get his bear. That bear walked away and... We had so many different opportunities. The camera caused some problems on a few, but we saw so many bears, had so many opportunities in a short amount of time. Glenn, Shannon, you guys, all of you guys up there at Trophy West are amazing. The accommodations, the food, everything. I mean, we couldn't ask for anything better. And we truly, truly look forward to next year when we get to come back again. And maybe we'll let Ralph join us. He'll have the camera working better. <laughs>a show, huh? I mean, the, the great thing is, is going up there with Glenn at Trophy West and all the guys. We I have mean, we such can't... a good time every time we go up there. I mean, it's just fun. And hey, if you happen to see Rocky, which was the lucky Get logo, rock you need to log on to thechoicetv.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win an entire head-to-toe set of Rocky clothes. Oh, cool. That's very cool. Next week? Next week, we're elk hunting. Yeah. Get ready. <laughs> with Robert and Steve, it should be a good adventure. That's it. So, we want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.